day and welcome back for more assertive acquisitions. TFE, has the weather been like this the whole time you've been down here? Uh, yes. This is so not a very nice place. Has it ever gotten, like, lighter or anything? Uh, I don't know if it's just the storm seems to shift a little bit, but it's been like this pretty much the whole time. I can see why you wanted to leave then. Yeah. Um, and speaking of leaving, Kapak, how's space up in weather up there? I mean, how's weather up in space up there? What? It's real windy. I can't hear you. It's not windy. That's the sound of you chewing. No, that's the space wind. Uh -huh. I, can't, I can't believe Kapak is snacking while we're in Mortal Kombat. I know, Kombat. right? <laughs> we're down here trying to figure out how to not be down here, and he's up there gallivanting off to ice planets? Is that where you yeah. went? Um, yeah, but I'm back now. Yeah. I'm pretty much directly above you guys, I think. Okay. Didn't we decide we were going to retrofit the rover to get back up because moving this base has just not worked? <laughs> well, so, the way I see it, we've got a couple of problems. Just we... a couple. <laughs> yeah. The atmospheric ceiling is very low. Mm. But the gravity is not. Yeah, the gravity is so, quite high. Atmo thrusters really don't get us very far at all. Now, that means, yeah, okay, let's go with hydrogen. We just blew up our hydrogen thruster. Yeah, uh, and the tanks. Maybe? Yep. Wait, Maybe? I don't know. I haven't, okay. I haven't looked, to look for the tanks. I've been trying not to use my jetpack juice. I mean, the tank was empty anyway. Um, oh no, it's still there. It's got 8%. The tank's still there. How much percent? Oh, it's got 8%. 8? Eight. So 80,000 litres. How much does a thruster use? What? 80,000... Hang on, how much... More interesting question is, how much is in a small group small tank? Uh, probably a lot less. That's why I'm going to pop one on here and find out. Would it be I like haven't... five or 10,000? 15,000. Oh, 15,000. So... Half of a small grid small tank. I have a question. I might have an answer. Would four small thrusters be enough for me to get this thing down here, or would the gravity be too high? Uh, it's 1.2 Gs. That... I'm worried the gravity will be too high for you to get down there, down here with the pullo conflict. Plus, we don't want to crash the thing just after repairing it. <laughs> Replacing it. Yeah, or replace, I mean, well... Uh, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. Uh, what would be... What would be useful is if you could toss us down some ice. Uh, or a that, that hydrogen tank. less likely than landing. Now, I could reconfigure this to have five downwards thrusters. It still worries me. And I could yeah. leave the um, I could leave the FTL dry in orbit. Wait, because how much does your ship currently weigh? Uh, three hundred forty-five thousand at the moment. Mm. Uh, but I assume that's including the the jump drive. Uh, I mean we can do some maths, but I don't like doing that. <laughs> um, which. In theory, we should just be able to fit some boosters to the rover and then have Capac catch us on the way up. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm leaning towards is, uh, as a best option, right. but... Right. With the jump drive detached, I'm 200, uh, 200,000 kilos. Mm. Alright, let me have a look. Hydrogen thruster. Max thrust output is 1.1 meganewtons. So 1.08 meganewtons, you divide it by the gravity in meters per second, which on this planet is one point is about one is about twelve. So if you divide one point oh eight meganewtons by twelve, you end up with hundred thousand? Ninety thousand ish? Is uh, that about maybe, right? Maybe. There is also the issue that the current the max usage of the thruster we'd use all we've currently got just from that one in uh, Oh yeah we're, we're working out whether Capac yeah. can come down and save us. Mm. Are we risking it? I mean is Capac risking it? Um, well, if, so I could easily, 
swap to four downward thrusters. With a little bit more work, I could swap to... With more work, I could swap to six. All right. Kabak, why don't we why don't we do this in a couple of ways? You do some minor reconfiguring and then do a plan for a test descent. TFE, see if you can put together something in something around here out of the parts that we can get back off so we can get out of this storm and go somewhere that might be more likely to have ice. I'm going to do a bit of scouting in the rover once I put together a gyroscope for it. Now, uh, see if you can find some ice down here. Yeah, what do we got around here that's got some computers in it that I can take? Do we still have the section that had all the... No, we chopped that off, didn't we? Hmm. Actually, where is that? Shouldn't that be near... Oh yeah, it's like 900 metres away. I'll just drive back to the other bit and grab it from there. I do I have guess... a GPS where you are, by the way. Yeah. I guess at least now it's on side and not completely upside down. <laughs> <laughs> We're halfway there. I suppose I could put some spotlights on this, but I feel like all I'll be spotlighting is dust. Oh, can your basic assembler make a couple, make a ore detector component? Uh, I'm missing nickel. That's the problem. Uh, break down some of the motors from the Atmo thrusters. Uh, that's a good point. We probably don't need them right at the moment. Nope. Oh. I definitely need didn't drop a thruster on my head. Uh-oh. We have a bigger a... problem. What? We just ran out of power on the rover. What? How did that happen? <gasps> um, and the medical room is missing on the base. I know exactly how that happened. What? Kabak, the batteries are on the jump drive module. They're still on recharge, aren't they? Ow. Batteries on the jump drive. Yep. What? Mode auto. Oh. Well, I thought that might they might have sucked out some of the juice, but maybe the jump drive itself did during the recharge phase. Could be. Uh, in that case, you probably want to come back here and get the survival kit onto the base in case we die. Well, I mean, yeah, that's all well and good, but how? Um... Well... <laughs> <laughs> that's, there's a slight problem of, I don't have power. And oh, we're going to run right. out of suit power. Well, I'm not. Uh, so where are you? I'm at the other bit of the thing. Oh, well, you're only 900 metres away. That's... Uh, uh, but I, I really, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, I'll fly there using my jetpack. I'm like, no, that's a horrendous idea. <laughs> yeah. Fly low to the ground and pulse the speed. Well, this I really didn't plan through this drop pod very well. I was a bit in a hurry because we'd spent such a long time rebuilding Capric's ship and I didn't want to leave you yeah. down here with no help for ages. Oh! Well, at least the refinery's still here, although it's almost completely destroyed. What? Why would it be...? Because you, you lifted off with everything attached and then I ground. You sure? When we hmm. flew. Well... Wait, why is that not working now? So, TV, I've got an idea. Which would be... We grind out the battery on the rover and we replace it with a new battery that we build from components broken down using the basic assembler. Mm, that could work. Um, so we just need to both run back and forth to do that. But if we build a tiny battery first, maybe we could just use that. Yeah, to just get it back to the... To the other place so it's easier. Which is literally just two power cells. Yeah. No, that should be connected to that container. Ow. I'm sure they haven't got GPS of where the ship landed, so... <laughs> I do. I was sensible. These weird shapes you sometimes see in the storms are very disconcerting. Ah. Uh, <laughs> is there a source of oxygen over here? Uh, oxygen... Yeah, the oxygen tank's full on the thing. Yeah, but is it here or is it on the other bit? Uh, it's on the bit that I try to take off in. 
Okay, good, because my oxygen's down to 15. Ah. We've got seven downwards thrusters. Oh, wow. That's the best I can do without a complete overhaul. Oh, we got the bits for two power cells. Nice. Actually, we got the bits for quite a bit more. Well, if, if Capax has got enough thrust, he may just be able to rescue us straight up. <laughs> we can rescue all the different bits of the base and put it back together. Um, um, we've got an issue. Yeah, we do. Apparently, someone's watching us. And appar what? apparently, can somehow work here in the storm. That's concerning. Uh, um, okay, yeah, we might want to get off here sooner rather than later. Yeah, Capac, you want to start coming down? Hey, uh, Capac, come on down. Ow. Alright, I made a GPS for the FTL. Uh huh. Luckily, the storm should hide us from being spotted, as long as we stay far enough away. Yeah. I'm on my way down. Hopefully. Oh boy. So, uh. I mean, if we want to use this base for something, we could go and dump it on that base. <laughs> 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 that would be quite the send off. If Kabak's got enough thrust, Kabak, how do you I'm feel about. I'm passing 30 kilometers. If you've got enough thrust to pick up this base, how do you feel about using it as a missile? Uh, or a bomb. I think fuel uh, might be the main concern. Plus, of course, oh. if if they do get angry at us and send stuff, he hasn't got any weapons, and neither do we. That is also true. I mean, we've got our rifles, but. All right, all right, all right. I mean, I guess if we do it on the way back, we could drop it and then run away. <laughs> Except with the storm, we wouldn't be able to see whether we hit it or not. Passing 25. I like how I look up as though I'll be able to see him. Yeah. I was like, looking up as well. Like, realistically, honest. you probably won't be able to see him until, what, probably like four or five hundred meters? Isn't there a big storm? Yeah. Might it be even less than that? I was, I was being optimistic. <laughs> I think I, mean, I, I, mean, think we I could currently see about 25 meters. I mean, we can still see the Maybe sun, 50. so maybe if Kevin okay, had lots of, like, spotlights on the front of his ship or something. I've got a spotlight, but it's pointing forward rather than down. Yeah. Well... Which may actually have been an oversight, but I probably should have moved it as well. Uh, I can see a big crater. Is that you guys? Uh, probably. Probably. There's not many. At least one of them is us. Yeah. <laughs> oh! I can spot Kabak! You can? Oh, yep. well, he's not broadcasting. Um, no, oh. I see thrusters though. Where? I do not. Oh, I know, I see him. I yeah. Think. Oh, he's over by the. He went to the Odea marker instead of the new one. Yeah, that's fine. What? Wait, no, he no, did. Didn't. No, he did. The Odea one's the other way. He's oh. going. He's coming here. The Odea one is further away from yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, I did. I don't do directions, okay? <laughs> we can see him. It's amazing. He looks like he's not coming in he, at a yeah. He, he suicide doesn't look, he for doesn't, a suicide he burn. He doesn't look like he's plummeting. No. Is it holding oh. up okay? Uh, it is, but I now can't see the ground. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> keep your lights on. Yeah, yeah, my lights are on. I'll stand on the highest point. And you should see our broadcast once you get close enough that your suit can pick it up. And you should still have your um, horizon indicator. Alright, you can just come straight down there. You're about... Uh, keep coming. About another 15 meters. Ah, what the... I think I hit the windows key. Alright, oh. that's probably far oh, enough. I see the ground. You are yeah. just about two and a half meters off the ground. Uh, is it worth... I don't think it's going to be worth... I mean, we could grind down the stuff on the base if he's got enough storage on his ship. I mean, he does. You've got a large grid, ca large cargo, don't you, Kamek? Yep. I mean, we could at least go We could, the but it is a lot of extra stuff. mass. Yeah. I think it's probably better if he tries to grab onto it with his landing gear and then sees if he can lift off. And if he yeah. can't, then he can just ditch it. Oh, hang on. Kamek. I have an idea. No, you've just... Deep oh, well, no, he didn't have any oxygen. Oh. Good point. Yeah, suck it all in. Uh, the, ve the vent's turned off. Yeah, I've just turned it on and got <clears> it depressurizing and filling the oxygen tank. From um, the limited out atmo atmospheric oxygen. Look, I 
my fuel is running down, so yeah, if we're going to do anything, we should do it soon. Okay, well, Am see I grabbing onto this thing? Yeah. Yeah, see if you can pick it up. Uh, and then gear? Nope. Can you pick it up? Go! Are we ready to go? Yes, go. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Well, thanks for the promptness of the response. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was busy checking out the oxygen supply and ensuring that it was still filling. Um, yeah, you might want to close the door then, Swincy. <laughs> I, I really don't want to get sucked out. <laughs> no, it's fine. Look, it's so fine that I can even do this. See? TV, look how safe it is. That. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still aboard. <laughs> TV, did you do something to upset Kapak? What do you mean? Well, he dropped you in your facility on this planet, and he just tried to tip you off as well. Hmm. Capac. Oh, I heard Splitsy saying how safe it was. Oh, you didn't see where. <laughs> and I was. performed a demonstration of how safe it was. <laughs> As I was trying to leap out. <laughs> but you timed it perfectly that TFE was the one who fell off, not me. <laughs> well, that was a happy coincidence, <laughs> question mark. Okay, so the. So what you just said was. Did you just, I just died. You did. You just slammed it to the. <laughs> There he goes, his body's falling back down to the planet. No! You just, <laughs> you slammed into his landing gear and you weren't damped to it, were you? You were damped to... I wasn't damped to anything, I was jumping. Oh. That's, um... <laughs> that's some of that perfect safety right there. Yeah, well... I was coming back in to turn the... to fix the oxygen. Well, I guess we're going to have to go back down to get the other bit of the station and for Switzy Gay's body back. Ah, <laughs> uh, that clone is gone. Well... Alright, come back inside. Well, that was a... resounding... something. Yeah, maybe it should have just stayed as an asteroid base. <laughs> well, it's too late now. I mean, Kappa brought it with us. You can do oh. something with it. Uh, uh, could take it to the ice planet. Well, do you want to give us a show of the... I mean, I mean, guess we could. It does need to have... Silver... I guess you could drop it on the ice planet, as I in mean, you could fly, fly down to it. But what's your fuel status? 76. I mean... Oh, you've got heaps of fuel. What were you whinging about fuel about? I was going to say, yeah, if he can fly in 1.2G, he can fly pretty much anywhere. Yeah. Well, I mean, we could test that. You want to go to the gas giant, Kapak? No. Okay. No, not the gas giant. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kapak, are you going to keep with this thruster setup? Or are you uh, going to revert at part least of your design? Now. I mean, by the looks of it, you can land in pretty high gravity. Oh, yeah, but uh, it, he's removed his connector that connects up to his hangar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to change that. Also, I don't have any uh, up. Oh, right. You've. I was looking. Wait. Well, wait, you do have one. You kept one. Did I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is still one on the side pod there. Yeah. What are the odds on Kavak crashing into the jump module we left up here? Pretty unlikely. Space is pretty big. I mean, you I say mean, that. He should be heading toward the jump drive module. I mean, you Otherwise say that. We're going to have a very slow journey home. You say space is big, but something blew this ship up last time. Yeah. Oh, the tug of war. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I ran a, uh, a a bunch of computer simulations. Uh huh. And it doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, the consensus seems to be that your uh, your virus or detection thing is the cause of the explosion. Uh, it's it's certainly a hypothesis. I wouldn't say it's a consensus. No, oh, the computer was pretty mm. sure. The weird bit was that each individual bit, even after your ship exploded into little bits, each little bit's kept exploding. Yeah, that's what makes me think it was something else. And that you even saw armor blocks exploding. Nah, uh, that seems unlikely. Maybe you flew through a micro black hole? I honest, honestly, I have 
no idea whatsoever uh, what caused it. Splitzer used a micro black hole as the power source for his door detector machine. Like the, and it just inverted <laughs> yep. everything. The, the way the way things were exploding, it it felt like we'd been hit by railgun blasts, but there was no visual evidence of it. It was very odd. And if any enemies were shooting at us, you'd sure they'd be sending smug messages as well. Yeah. Especially when they're that effective at destroying us. They can be as smug as they like. Well, I'm going to send the footage to the Dash Cams Australia YouTube channel for a further analysis. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just trying to make the foot traffic <laughs> <more> <laughs> Well, I'm He's causing trouble. I, mean, I can't he... see exactly what it is, but I can see that it's trouble. I mean, he's put a giant programmer <laughs> block <laughs> in the middle <laughs> of what, your... What? Did, who? Dibba Dobba? Jeez. It's not a secret. I can see it <laughs> through the window. Giant, it's a giant programmable block in the middle of his living, his walking yeah, space. Yeah, but he's not... Pa he wasn't watching it. Yes, he was. I w literally was looking in the window <laughs> at it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you inconvenience Capac just so you can play Tetris. Yeah, that sounds about right. I mean, he did make me play plate up in a park. <laughs> make you do that? So what you're saying is he should be playing Tetris on the outside of the ship. Hmm. Or it's safer. Perfectly safe. <laughs> uh, shut up. Dang it. This might be old enough and needs to have a timer block. Dang it, I was missing four displays for what I wanted to do. I was going to put a jukebox down. Hey, I won't use the fun music. I'll use some sensible music. <laughs> you need to go... You, can you walk over here? D it's not my fault you made the walkway so terrible. <laughs> no, no, I need, I need this block. What? Thank so you. now I'm trapped over here. Yep. Do you have any parts that are fit in that? Capac, I don't suppose you've got a hidden feature where you can, like, separate the part of the ship splits is on. Uh, not at the moment, no. That's a shame. <laughs> It'd be handy considering how he's massacring your interior. Of course he is. It's temporary, it'll be fine. Oh, just don't tell him when you're jumping. <laughs> there we go, it's working. Uh, who is firing on my ship? You are a monster. Wait, you're not injuring me? Are you? Wait, what? Are you cheating? Am I? Oh, I am. <laughs> well. Oh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Well, TFE shot my Tetris and broke it, and hey. then he killed me. He well, now the me. FTL driver's flying off into space. <laughs> Well, I'm going outside the ship then, it's safer out there. You ruined the one thing I could do to distract myself! You ruined his interior. Yeah, but that's easily removed. Well, so are you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why can't I auto damp to it? Oh. Um, did, the, did you why is the thing yeah. flying away? I, I just noticed that when I got on it. Why is it floating away? <laughs> Hey, oh, no. Grab the jump drive, let's go. No! I can't, it's spinning away from me. I wasn't expecting gunfire to break out when I tried to connect to it. <laughs> well, that's um... not my fault! Oh, Capac, I have an idea. Uh, if you go grab the jump drive module with the landing gear, you can... I can still make a jump. Capac, have I mean, you I've got... two people on my ship with functioning eyeballs. Have um... you got your dampeners off, Capac? Yes. The moon okay. dancer is 1.8 so kilometers. You need to go forward. Nope. It seems so you've done that. Okay. Yeah, you're going the correct direction. And keep drifting a little bit further and try and now stop. Okay, now go down. You need to go down about 10 meters. 7 meters. A bit further. A bit further. And oh. stop. Incoming drone, 900 down meters. Down a little bit lower. Down a little bit lower. Left. Up. Down. Stop. Right. World of fire! Right. You're not... <laughs> you're... 
it's really hard because you've got... Oh no, oh no! Well, we're doomed. No, we're not! I'm heroically saving us all! That sounds unlikely. I disarmed the drone. Where'd the jump drive go? It's over there. It's over near the drone. Okay, cap back. Detach the... Detach TFE's wreckage. Yeah, that's... Why? Just detach it, it and grab the jump drive with your landing gear. Yeah. Up oh, the programmable block is loose inside the... ship! Why did you cut it loose? I didn't! The shooting cut it loose! The drone! Oh. Well, that wasn't smart, was <laughs> can't it? can't get aboard. <laughs> Slightly problematic. <laughs> See, I told you Tetris was a terrible idea. No, you shooting it was the terrible idea. No, the... The Tetris was a great idea. You it shooting it was all where it all went wrong. were terrible. Okay. Um... Alright, come back. Just hold station for a sec. Come back, line up for a jump. What? Line up for a jump. Jump where? Somewhere. Not here. You lined up? Sure. Oh. Uh oh. Um. Kaba, can you pitch up about 45 degrees? Oh. Well, this is one way to get rid of the program of lock. Did the jump just cancel? Yeah, it wasn't supposed to start. Kaba, you need to pitch up. But why? What are you going on about? Because the jump's going to go the wrong way. Who cares? <laughs> I'm, I want to jump us back to the moon. I don't know which one the moon is. Because I can't see anything. <laughs> Curse you, TFE. What? Tiffany, why did you do this to us? What do you mean? I didn't. I suggested to make the jump driver station before he grabbed it, and Kavak said it'd be fine. <laughs> and then you started shooting. Inside, no less. Hey, you ruined his interior. Well, at least that programmable block's gone now. Alright. Kavak. Could you bring us to a stop? Okay, now that we're at a stop, you can let us let this go and try and get it onto your connector instead. Keep coming. Okay, switch lock. Hey! You locked. Amazing. Alright. Now get back inside. And if I have to come back there, I'm turning the ship around. What are you doing now? Just getting rid of the helm that I had to build on it. Hey, Kabak, I think we might want to... Go to this alien planet over here. No. So, I'm looking at where the moon is. Do you think the moon is further away than that gas giant? Or closer than the gas giant? Because I'm beginning to wonder if it's further away. What, like on the other side of the gas giant? Yeah. Uh... So the reason I well, think that's relevant is I wonder if the gas giant has some sort of weird radiation effect or something that ripped us to shreds when we jumped there. And the reason we didn't get that effect on the way out was that we jumped straight past that point. So either we jump a few hundred k's and then jump all the way to the moon, or we go a bit from this orientation south of it and try and go around the gas giant and hopefully have a safe path home. I don't know, that sounds quite that sounds pretty unlikely. I think I like the theory that it was your fault better. I'm sure you do. But do you want your ship to be alive or do you want to roll the dice? I mean we can always make another one. Alright. You ready to jump? No, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming. Alright, let's jump. I do like the jump drive effect coming from the middle of the ship. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Yeah, it looks like the spinny thing's doing it. The oxygen tanks, the farms. Uh, appear to be intact. Now, I really wish I had something to distract me for the next seven minutes while we sit here. But somebody put a whole lot of magnesium, iron, and nickel into it. Where's the gas giant? Is it, is it in the sun? It's gonna, behind the sun. Uh, say, it's between us and the sun, yeah. That drone that shot has put a lot of magnesium into this ship. Yes, but I'm going to blame you because you started this whole cascade. That, 
Yes, uh, me shooting an LCD directly led to a drone. Near Why are you reducing Capac? the range, Capac? Increasing the range. Or are you just pressing buttons and nothing is happening? It's happening. Well, it's not actually changing the number on the thing. Yeah, it doesn't change until it's charged. Well, that's silly. So I was estimating that 40% would be about 800 kilometers. Oh, guppy to our right. Uh, that's quite Since far away. 100% is 2,000 kilometers. So we'll be able to jump and land on the moon. One hopes. One hopes. We can eventually get back and actually. I don't know, build something? What to build? Oh, yeah, that whole thing that was the whole point of doing this. So, what planet are we going to next? Well, you found that ice planet. Do you still remember which way it was and did you make any GPSs? Nope. Delightful. Well, okay, how about we head to one that's not in the direction of the gas giant? Okay, so, <laughs> I have a couple of plans, a couple of ideas around this. I do want to start work on the carrier ship using the special thrusters so that we can, you know, build something that's got some serious power. We also want to potentially scan the planets around that aren't in constant sandstorm for any traces of uranium. So, the two of you could go out searching if TFE, since he no longer has a ship, wants to build something that's a bit of a scouting vehicle mm, yeah. uh, that's capable of landing in, you know, up to 1.5G, I think, just in case. That sounds like a good idea. And, like, whether you want to build it with, like, a rover to do scouting from it so you don't have to fly it around and use all your hydrogen because mm. then you won't need to worry about fuel so much. That could work. Although, Capac could do similar with this, because this is now capable up to 1.2 Gs or more, because it was bringing stuff up. He could figure out something to go on this that could be a surface scanning module, because we do have seismometers that can scan planets for what materials are around. And while you two are doing those things, I'll work on the base and build it, starting designing a bit of a, a ship to attach thrusters to and probably a little tug that we can use on the moon because hmm. thinking for a carrier will we have the space to build it near the base on the moon yeah that 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 crater is enormous 50 oh. 49 47 45 44 42 40 39 37. I sound like a drunk person counting. All this sheep counting has put me to sleep. Alright, I'll wake you up in 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, oh boy, we don't want our pilot going to sleep. Uh, it's not much different to when he's awake. Uh, which control can I slump over and hit by mistake? <laughs> uh, whichever you like. Uh, I guess there's nothing really exciting. I guess yeah. I could detach the connector. Yes. Could do that. I mean, you could flip one of those switches to your left. What do they do? I don't know. Turn off your oxygen supply. Oh, that'd be bad. <laughs> Good thing my helmet's gloves. Time to wake up, come back. What? Why? Nope. Duh, red alert. Well. <laughs> Alright, are we All jumping right. or what? Uh, how are you pointed? Reasonably well? Yep. Off we go! How far are we? 53 kilometers. That's not too bad. How long to recharge now? Two minutes. Do you want me to wake you up again, Capac? In two well, minutes? It's only 53. Yeah. Take that long. Oh, Still quicker to jump. Wait. I can see the wasabi broadcasting. What? <laughs> Where? On the at the base. Oh. I can't. Oh. So let's see, play the sound block when we uh when Kavak lands back at base. You'll notice what I said too. <laughs> oh dear. No, you did too early. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Uh, why am I gonna... What? Why, why am I gonna green target 
um, moving. No, no, we're moving, it's static. Well... Wait, but he's the outside... fragment of something? Because he's outside weapon range, so... Bits of debris up in orbit? Where? Yeah, probably from one of our battles. Where are you... You sure it's not just the subgrid? Judging by the fact you're wildly spinning around? No, 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 it's 300 metres away. I can see it. What? I know exactly what the heading toward. I still don't see it. I guess because I'm in a seat that doesn't have target locking. Oh no, it's someone's unknown signal. Wait. It's not It's not mine. It's a piece of one. How long has this been here for? Oh, not that button. What are you doing? Getting the lava boots from it. What? Do you want me to bump it up toward your landing gear? We claim it as a prize. Oh, why is my landing gear not working? Because it's not on auto lock. It's so, only your left one that's on auto lock. It's white. What does no, that even mean? Why did no, you move? No, I auto bumped it towards you and you moved. No, his, his auto lock is on. No, only on one of them. No, I... Whatever, I'm out of here. Hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> Fine. See ya. I got my lava boots, I'm getting out of here. Alright. I'm re-equipped with tools, let's get some bottles. Oh yeah, because you your body fell back down to the planet, didn't it? Yup. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some ice. This capac's gonna need it for his ship. Oh, so this was your uh, welding setup for the ship, the big one. Yeah. It was reasonably effective. Um, if you build your exploratory ship in the rough same bounding box you can print it off instead of because hmm. uh, what you could do is you could lay it out as just the framework blocks take a blueprint of that and then print off that blueprint yeah to save you having to weld up every individual block if you'd like to do it that way if you don't want to then uh, we can probably just get rid of it because it's a ah, giant the... bit of mess yeah it is a bit uh, large <laughs> yeah I say compared okay. to everything else in the basement What's coming Come back. Um, once you've dropped off the jump drive module, we could probably use your ship to collect a whole lot of ice now, because you can carry heaps more. Uh, my ship needs repairs before anything is happening to it. Oh yeah, fair enough. But it especially Wait. needs repairs since the hole that was patched in the floor is not right. I know, I got confused and rotating. Got very confused. Yes. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, it was airtight. That's good enough. Ugh, I feel like I need a break after all that nonsense. I mean, you had it pretty easy compared to... Uh, what? I, I mean, had to reconfigure my ship so I could save you guys from another planet and then you had a gunfight while I was trying to recover the jump drive. Uh, you did Hardly a gunfight when only one person has a gun. If you there's a fight hey. happening and there's a gun, it's a gunfight. Hey, you didn't die, you didn't it get... It was just outright murder. You didn't fall off the ship to a, a plummet 30 something kilometers with your dead body that you can never recover. No, if, if I'd plummeted to a planet, that would have been less stressful. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you go out and explore the cosmos then? Because the ship needs repairs. <laughs> so, TV, um, with your landing craft, are you thinking it's going to do the exploring once it gets down there, or are you going to take a secondary craft uh... with it? I was thinking, yeah, to have a place to have a little rover on it. So you can do like a little landing ramp or... I think so, yeah. Or like a piston to deploy it down and it dangles off a connector or something. Mm, not sure yet. Okay. Oh. So close. I was building a med bay to recharge and I ran out of charge just as I was about to do the last bit of welding. I always hate it when that happens. It's just like, I was so close. So very, very close. We now have a med bay in the living quarters. Neat. Means we can probably get rid of the other one, to be honest. It is a little unnecessary where it is. But I went to all that effort of making that bit work. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Um, there's a drone operations 9.3 kilometers from the base. You what? 
9.3 kilometers from base, there is a drone operations. No, it's worse. What? It's near you. No, there are two. What? Where's the second one? Oh, there! 7.6 L. Well, farewell, right. cruel world. Battle stations, people, come on. Um, there's also the... And the one that's 7.6 is in the direction of where I'm building my ship. No. Um. Energy critical. All right, let's get a few wasabis printed off. Let's get your H-tram printed off, TFA. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Do this we know quickly. How to do we do know how to defeat this thing. Overwhelming firepower. Um, something we didn't try to defeat these things last time. Dropping the stuff might <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we do have these wrecks lying around. Oh boy. Alrighty, um, let's see if any of these will be flyable. I don't think this Sojourner is. It's got... Wait, don't you need to harvest the fancy engines off them or something? Yeah, 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 but they're regular engines, the, the regular thrusters aren't needed. Yeah, but haven't we not harvested the engines yet? Yes, that's what I'm in the middle of doing. I'm finding the good ones and I'm going to cut them out. I thought we were meant to be doing some kind of urgent emergency response. I thought this might be a quick response. But fine. Um, well, do you want to... Do you want to come in your... Well, TV doesn't even have a ship! Yeah. Sounds like a TFE problem. Oh, well, actually, no, There, there's an extra smoked paprika over here. Uh, oh, yeah, that works fine. That means you two are on drone duty, both of you. Okay, I see your point. And that means I'm on station attack duty. Because I'm the only one with the long-range cannons. Hmm. Okay, we good to go? Uh, I guess uh, so. Maybe. Uh, which ship's mine? Yours is the one that's tucked down next to the living quarters. Oh, the orange one. Ah, uh, what the? Uh. What? <laughs> Not again! <laughs> uh, I just saw that from the perfect perspective. Why is my cockpit open? Because that's how they look now, remember? I'm in the cockpit! What? But it's still <laughs> open. Okay, that's broken. It's not meant to be like that. You seem to be a bit stuck there, Kavak. Yeah, I can't figure out what is happening. Well, I managed to... Your dampeners off? I managed to make it off the connector yes. successfully. Do you want me to bring down your connector so it's not in your way? Sure. Is there a button around here that does that? I guess if we prioritise the base that's closer, since that's more likely to get angry at us. Yep. Sure. Plus, it's in the direction of my, um, construction. <laughs> okay, you two lead. Yep. Let's go. I will follow, and I will attempt to take out... Tiffy, do you remember where they had their remote? Um, no, because like, I... they had their AI I, module on I, this I, thing? I think we took it out by just blasting it into smithereens. Oh. What I do remember is, guns on the roof are mean. <laughs> yeah. So... You two just need to focus fully on the drones. I'll focus on the base. Kavak, uh, please keep the di your distance from the base so you don't get shot down by its guns. You keep your distance. Also, should we do this? I will uh, be. Should we do this insert observer that's like in between us? Because I don't think we have to take quite a detour to go around. Yeah, there. all right. Let's deal with it first. All right. All three of us should be able to take on this thing. Yeah. Oh, looks like they will crate up. Didn't take as long to take it out. Fruit fire coming in. And a monarch. Well. And a space wasp. Oh no! Oh! Oh! I'm getting the feeling that TFE's not very good at flying these. No! I'm slightly crashed and slightly being shot. I'm drawing fire. <laughs> oh, I almost had the biggest come up and to me saying you weren't very good at flying these. <laughs> I was so close to hitting the ground. 
I missed it by less than a meter, I think. Yeah. Nah. Just focus on the drone TFP, that'll keep oh, it there at the ground. She almost crashed into it. There's a pair of buildings here. Oh, taking hits. That's not fair, they can't bring more numbers. Is that a base oh. turret shooting me? Probably. Uh, what? Did I you just, just die? No, I just flew through a drone that then disintegrated. Like, phased oh, yeah. through it. <laughs> that was weird. Oh, I think I just blanked out for a second. Alright, one drone controller is down. Oh! I uh, saw a robot. What? Is there people down there? Well, there was a robot down there. Oh! Whoa! It's dead Why? now. What just happened? I'm hitting rockets! A fruit fly just parked in front of me as I was chasing it, so I just slammed into it. Are you still oh. even vaguely flyable? Nope. I have no cockpit, and I'm getting shot at with missiles. Alright, I've taken down the robots. These drones being so small is making them very difficult to hit. Alright. Uh... Since Capac's out of action, and we've taken out this base, I actually think we shouldn't rush in to attack the drone operations now. Probably not. Well, I think we've made an error rushing toward it. I think we need to make a concerted effort to have defences available, because there are two of them. We don't want to use up all our fighters on an attack. I've so disabled I think... a fruit flag. <laughs> nice. I think what we need to do is fly towards base, drag these fruit flies back to our guns. I really hope they don't shoot my thing. <laughs> and then we need to come up with a good plan for an attack. Something we can drop, something we can do damage with that mm. will hopefully do a lot more damage. Go. And I have an idea. So should we circle because we've got Because the... we've got a ship that is very capable of heavy lift. Uh... A whole bunch more might have just spawned in, though. Base is firing! Yep. Yep! Oof. So it's very close to in the line of fire, then. Oh boy, I'm trying not to fly to line of fire the oh, base! What was that? Jeez. But they blew up my crane! What? Oh, TFE's. So TFE approached from a different angle to try and save his new ship and got your crane destroyed in the process. No, I didn't mean to. Why? But they're focused on me, why would they shoot the base? Turrets shot them. Ow. Crane. Wait, but they don't have turrets. They're just fired. Our drones. turrets shot the crane. Ow. Oh. Because you approached from an angle that made it made them need to shoot that way. Well. <laughs> that went uh, unfortunate. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> I am not used to the Amount of deceleration. And to best make myself functional around here. That does seem to be most of the, the fruit flies are down though. Yeah. I definitely There's think. Just two need... remaining. I definitely think I need to print off a haste tram. I'm not very good at piloting this. <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, I can take over if you want to do something else. Yeah, yeah, do that. TFE, you managed to print off an haste tram before over where the caterpillar was parked. Yeah. So you can use that again. Alright, we're in the clear for the moment. Yeah. So, you're getting an H tram, I'm gonna build a bomb. Uh, can you turn on the. Oh, do you? Can you turn on the welders for me? Why am I drifting? Which welders and where are you? What? Ah! What are we shooting at? Uh, something's Ow. shooting at Kappa. Why's the base shooting at him? Wait. No, the base isn't no, shooting at him, the there's a drone over, over here. here. Yeah. It just looked like the base was shooting at him from where. No, there's there's a drone over here that's got one gun and a gyroscope and it's managing to shoot a cap at occasionally when it gets target on him. Oi, I'm down here. <laughs> yeah, and Jack. Well that went well. 
I mean, we took out the base. We did. That means that the drone operations can't call in assist from that base. It means we've just got the two drone operations, and I say just with the full sense of irony. Okay, I've got thrusters in every direction, so why am I still drifting sideways? Some of them off. They all look like they're on. Oh no, holding position. Ah, uh, the welding wall is on. Okay, come down for repairs. Kabak, are you happy with your ship being used as a bomber? The one I'm in now? No. Your bigger one. The Pullo Conflict. Uh, I guess. So my idea is a cluster bomb. What we're going to do is there will be a grid that is connect, like that's a whole bunch of diff, whole bunch of merge blocks connected to a central grid that has a battery and a timer. Capac will drop it. I'll put a single hydrogen thruster and single hydrogen tank on it so that we can get a bit of push out of it so he doesn't have to accelerate toward the base. It'll go down, it'll deploy a whole cluster of decoys and active warheads. And hopefully some of them will hit the target. The biggest challenge is going to be actually being directly over the target and not missing. Right, so missing I have to expensive. do the difficult thing. I wonder if there's oh, a way we can make that easier. Well, you could ride the bomb down and control it. I suppose I could make it a remote control bomb. So I could put a remote control and a single thruster no, and, a, and a gyro. you sit on the top of it and wave your cowboy hat around while you go down. <laughs> sure. So, so, the thought I've got is, what if... What if I give this a second thruster? Energy critical. Inventory full. And, and I ignore using Capac's ship and we launch it as a missile from here. Mm. I mean it's not that far away. And the moon doesn't require much thrust for us to fly. Mm. The thing the thought that I'm having is if it works we print three, all three of us fly them simultaneously at the target. Now what I think we're going to need to do that is some way to be able to fly these without requiring a camera on them because a camera is going to get destroyed when we're miles away from target. Or one of us, or maybe we fly two of these and one person acts as spotter. You could put the camera towards the rear of it maybe? Like off to the side a bit? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think making these as directly flown missiles is going to be the better play. Because then we can print them off from here and we don't actually need to get Kapak's ship anywhere near danger. Which I'm sure Kapak will be happy about. Sure. So happy that he didn't even have anything to say. Yep. Now one thing we do have to be aware of is that the moment this gets in range of that base, it's going to call in drones, which will probably end up coming back here to our base. So we need to be ready for that, which means we probably, for this first test launch, need to have someone up in the air in a fighter, or perhaps two someones, one in an h tram, one in a fighter. Because I think... That will then give us the ability to have those targeted instead of our base. Based on what we've seen out of their targeting system so far. Uh, Not files. Drone operations oh, sending no. drones at us. Do we know we don't know which direction they're coming from though. Can anyone spot the drones yet? Nope. Uh, I can see two drone operations though. Yeah. So, Kabak, I'm heading to the one that we were heading toward before. Do you want to head to the other one just until you're just inside 5Ks from it? Or until we've spotted oh, the drones? Oh, I've got fruit flies coming from the other drone Okay, it's the other one. Alright. Don't go in too hard, Kabak, because you, you'll, they'll scream straight past you and you won't get any shots on. Yep, I know. Oh, I see a locust monarch, two fruit flies. That Mark II Locust might be a problem. The 
Mark 2s always seem to be a bit nastier. Attempting to lock a target, I don't know which one. Barracks open fire. To the locust, but I slightly overshot. They're headed towards the base. I just tried to press shift to sprint. Close the gap. Did I just see a rifle fire? TFB, yep. was that you? Yeah. You and your jetpack shooting at them with your rifle? Yeah, I'm on the ground, but yeah. Ah. Worst case scenario, I can distract them because they're shooting at me. The locust is still making a beeline for the base, looks like. Oh boy. Be careful of where your gunfire is going after if you miss, Capac. I'm pretty sure Locust oh, Mark 2. Locust Mark 2's got railgun, I think. I thought that was the Monarch Mark 2 that has the railgun. I think most of the Mark 2s have. I thought the Locust Mark 2 had lots of rockets. Large caliber things passing by me. I've lost my lock on the locust. Lock. Locust is down. Yep. Do we have any drones left? I'm hearing missiles. No, you're hearing assault cannon. Oh. Uh, defensive line is taking a bit of a battering. Oh. Well. Wasn't too bad. And my bomb is progressing. So we're gonna have our ability to return fire, so fire soon. I've got the most of the merge blocks built. I just gotta add the decoys and the warheads and maybe a little bit of armor in front of them, so that they can take a couple more hits. But so that there's not so much armor that the warheads don't destroy as much of them when they hit. It's always a delicate balance with those two. Almost forgot something really important. Your sunblock. Antenna range. <laughs> yeah, that would have um, been interesting. Yeah. Alright, that should be good. Control shift B. Blueprint it. Ready to go. Time to have a nap. Alright. Um, okay, three, two, one. Launching. Yep, I have control. I have launch. It's gonna hit a mountain in the dark. No, we're pursuing. Uh, yeah, you probably want to. Okay. We do. Yeah. Well, you want us to stay here. No, no I want we're... you to be rough. Uh, oh, able to what? intercept oh, the what drones. Was that? Why did that just? What? What just well, happened? I just took off normally out of the. Uh... Well. Did you just smash into the roof of your, your hangar? I think so. I think I smashed at the floor. I've done that before. Mm. <laughs> I've still got the same amount of fuel. Um, well, I suspect that's because the second tank was destroyed. Oh uh, dear. I am six kilometers out from target. Two Ks behind you. All right. It looks like I've got a lot of fuel, so I might be able to set myself up in a bit of a position to kind of come down on it more than just. Um, rather than kind of launching in a big arc that I think increases my chances of missing. Arming warheads. Oh, two drones spawn in, two space wasps. Going after them. Yep. Oh, I blew up. I don't know whether <laughs> I lost it. I don't know either. My game crashed. <laughs> nope. Um... The drone operations is still broadcasting. I suspect that was an unsuccessful attack. I did not get myself enough on target and I did not deploy my uh, merge Animations. blocks to release everything as chaff. I think I probably got one of my warheads hit by a round and blew up the whole thing. But I think this could work. I certainly don't need much fuel on board these, which is good, so I can just load up with a little bit of ice and it'll do its own thing. I reckon I can make this thing functional. I reckon this is the way to go. And maybe next time I'll try and make it so that we can have multiple missiles going in on target at the same time. If two of us can target fly them at the same time, that'll give us a much higher chance of getting one of them through. 
Because I think we only really need one warhead, maybe two warheads through, and we'll wipe them clean. Which will be good, because then we can get back to building. So next time, there's going to be some more missiles, some more explosions, and hopefully some droid bases saying goodbye. So there's all that, and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody. Bye. Oh, I'm in space, and I'm on fire. <laughs>